Aggravate your personal shield and get your trait level to three because it's time for the Star Wars Battlefront Podcast. EA's first Battlefront disappointed many fans with the omission of classes, but Star Wars Battlefront 2 returns to form, bringing with it four unique and several upgraded classes available through battle points. But the addition of classes still raises the question of customization. I'm Sage Gooden from the Star Wars Battlefront podcast, and in this video I'll be going over how customization will work in EA Star Wars Battlefront 2. The four classes available in Battlefront 2 are the Heavy class, your go-to tank class, the Specialist, Sniper class, the Assault, your all-around class, and the Officer, the game support class. EA has said that you'll be able to customize your classes, but how's that work? First off, there are the weapons available to your class. Once the game launches, you'll be able to choose many different weapons to use with your class. For the Specialist, you may choose to use a closer range sniper that deals more damage, or a weapon designed for long range sniping with more overheat. Either way, that's one way you could choose to make your class stand out. Another way is the use of star cards. In the alpha build we played at EA Play, you had two class specific star cards with the ability to switch out a third with a star card available to any class. But in the full game, you may be able to swap out class specific ones with other star cards available only to your class. For example, the officer has a turret, but you may want to switch that out with, let's say, a smoke grenade to hide your fellow troops. This is another way you can make your favorite class your own. But how do you get these star cards? Through the use of loot crates, every day you'll get a daily reward with a chance to earn class, star cards, and other items to customize your character. Another way is to earn them through matches. The more you play, the better your chance of getting rare star cards and loot crates. The loot crates vary in rarity, common, uncommon, rare, epic, and legendary. Each rarity brings with it another rank of your customization, so you can get a common, epic, and so on to upgrade your star cards through the use of the new loot crate system. As you can see, DICE has been listening to the community and you can see this with their new take on customization and classes. I'm definitely looking forward to playing more of Battlefront 2 with the beta this October and the release in November. I'd like to know what customizations you'd like to see. Comment down below the like button or hit me up on Twitter. That is at SWB Podcast. If you like the content, please subscribe. And if you really like the content, consider turning on notifications so you can stay up to date with on all of our content. As always, may the force be with you. Five, one, seven.